Welcome back. Welcome back to... Me blowing my nose. Wow, we're going to Talladega, which is green. Ah, but the tarmac is the right color this time. But the sky is like fluorescent pink. And it's time to qualify. And this track is pretty much the same length as the Daytona track. Everybody be happy you don't live in like Ohio or Kentucky or Indiana. Why is that? Fucking, if you have allergies, <laughs> fuck. Mine are, I do have a little bit, but they're not, you get them a lot worse. Oh man, Emily I get gets them pretty bad so too. Bad. Is hers bad right now? That's why she did. She was actually gonna come with me today, but then she her throat killed her. She just was like her nose is like pouring like a fucking fire <gasps> hook, fire hook. <laughs> a fire hook. Fire hook. A <laughs> fire hook. <laughs> Bubba, get out the fire hook. My nose is running. Dude, I mean, like my fucking throat has been thrashed for like two weeks now. I've been having to take Tylenol just to fucking keep it from hurting. I mean, it works. Man, I've been taking, like, some Mucinex and shit. Yeah. My mom gave me some allergy medicine. I was like, fuck. I get some, like, light, like, my nose runs a little bit when I first get up, but then after, like, a half hour of me being up, it's gone away. Oh, my God. It's I fucking too... get up in the morning. Like, as soon as I wake up, my fucking throat is like... <clears> throat> you, know? you, you might be worse, too, because you got a lot of cats and, like, cat fur. And pets yeah, I'm and actually stuff. allergic to cats. And how many cats do you have again? Uh, five. Okay. I think five. So that may not be just about where you live. Wait, wait, there's, there's some food out here. On. Look, we qualified first. You keep picking the jelly beans up first. Because I have to, like, pick them up <laughs> to look under them. <laughs> Coca-Cola Tic Tacs. I mean, fuck it, let's just try these. Didn't even know these were Coca-Cola. That sounds like that could be pretty good. <coughs> I like Coca-Cola flavored things, so. I have to drink diet because, yeah, I'm a diabetic. Yeah, I'm eating candy here while diabetic and do every week, but yeah. I'm still alive, so. I like that. I'll still go with those. It was actually really fucking good. I actually keep the third one. Thank you. No, I love Tic Tacs. I love the orange ones. The orange, oh my god, I can pop those orange ones. The orange ones and the green ones. Here, pour a couple into my hand here. I don't need that. Okay. Oh, fuck. <coughs> that is all because of the Tic Tacs. <laughs> I took one hand completely off. the Tic Tacs. <laughs> I took my hand completely off of the controller there. <laughs> I mean, them fucking Tic Tacs are good. They hit. They hit hard. Ooh, you like these as much as the orange? Say what? Do you like these as much as the orange? They're up there. This is close, and I love orange Tic Tac. I like orange flavor most things, but Tic Tacs are... You know what's funny? I love... Like orange flavor, like some orange flavored stuff. I hate oranges. It's like with me and a uh, green apple or sour apple. I hate it. I hate eating green apples. Too tart. Or the Grady Smith or whatever. Yeah, I think that is what they are. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I I just don't like them. Oh shit. Oh, those are really fucking good. Fortunately, with Tic Tacs, I feel like my teeth are breaking every time I eat them. That's why I'm trying, especially like as sensitive as my teeth are, because like half of them are broken. But this really does taste like really close to Coca Cola too. At least why I remember of like the original Coke flavor. I drink a lot of Coke Zero. Which not too far off of this. Oh, did I tell you that I've cut caffeine out of my diet for two weeks now? How bad were your headaches when you first started? Non-existent. Really? That's honestly shit. when I started getting like a sore throat and shit. I'm like, 
And I got like some, I got like two sores in my fucking throat. <clears> throat. It was uh, the week during my allergies. I'm like, man, I just, I'm just gonna try to kick this stuff and just see what happens. Dude, I mean, I felt, I felt so much better without it. I never would have thought that. What do you I drink mean, now instead? Because you always drink water, A and W. Sprite. That's pretty much it. Drop the car, big face. What do you think of this neon green paint scheme on this? <laughs> Speaking of green apple. Looks good on the car. Then you got it on these skies here. Kind of like green boogers working on the car. I, mean, I like gas cans. It's really funny. I don't, I don't know why. But... I like the sound effect. It's fairly accurate. To like pour like a jug of milk on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he really has. This big thing in 2% milk he's put in that car. Now, that was straight up whole milk. <laughs> that whole milk is more thick. Thick. The way you just said that. That was thick. thick. We don't have any slime this week. I just like heard that episode where I got tricked by my brother on thinking he had something else, and then <laughs> it was just all those little freak up <laughs> things. Dude, yeah. those things were so nasty. <laughs> they really were. That was they, just... they looked so good too. That's the shitty thing. I thought they were like a juice thing, and then when I was like, I, I went to like try to fucking drink it. I'm like, nothing fucking came out. It was fucking jelly. We had, like, such high expectations for that, and they just, like, failed on every level. But it did give us that moment where I just thought that Steve had upended one of those things on my arm. I really feel like it wouldn't have felt much different than what he did put on my arm. The fuck? That it sounded my... awkwardly sexual. Yeah. Well, you know. I thought this was That's a why I call him Steve Johnson. God. <laughs> I guess he's he he went and forgot that today was a recording day and he ended up inviting friends over to the house to like barbecue or something. You told him we were playing this game, didn't you? I did not. Actually we weren't gonna play this game. I, I kind of substituted this in because he wasn't because the game he wanted to play, you know, I wanted to let him play. He wanted to do the price right game. But I figured, well, I'll substitute this in because I can just. Oh, do I thought this. he was doing Paper Mario. Well, he is, but we're. Oh, he's we're, doing it after that. We were just gonna kind of, and we'll probably do that next time. But probably fuck around with it because we played, and then we probably said it while we were finishing those games. But we were playing such long games that we kind of wanted to break up the. <laughs> what was that? Hundred seventy. Hundred and thirteen parts of Ocarina of Time. And thirteen or. That was almost a third of a year. Yeah, and then, well, in real time, it was over a year. Cause we... <clears throat> you imagine if you get 113 parts out of this game? Kill me. <laughs> I'm surprised we're still playing it. But there's so much diversity in it. And... Now that. Now that's driving! Look at the guy with like one finger up down there. <laughs> I never even really noticed that before. It, doesn't, it just look blends in with the checkery. <laughs> I was gonna say, they really... checkered flag. Well, let's do another, because I don't want to like make more parts then. Let's make this one a little. We'll do another. We'll go to Dover, Delaware with the powder blue. Oh god, the tarmac is powder blue too. I mean, I was so excited to get something else. Get something else on the next episode. No, these things actually really hit this one. I was going to say, you, you don't look like you're struggling to <laughs> fucking eat more of the Coca-Cola Tic Tac. Yeah, I already stole the two that you fucking brought over. The one for Steve and the one for me. <laughs> what else did I? I didn't even look at what I put that shit in like midweek. and I, I know what some of the things were. Coconut bar, I knew that. Sugar babies? 
Those are pretty good. Those are we can probably just split a box of those. That really sounds like a suggestive name there, sugar babies. Did they did it? <laughs> Throw those back in there. Is that just gonna be like a recurring? Is that just gonna be a recurring thing from the? I bet a lot of my, those are gonna get left here one day. That was funny because didn't know Steve that like got them out and like what the fuck is this? Is this edible? <laughs> Take a bite out. <laughs> Not as like, yes, Steve. That is edible. Just as edible as your delicious chips. <laughs> that was fucking. I can't believe that was a. That was for me. I would have been really sus of it as soon as I picked up and I didn't hear like the rattling. I can't believe that he, because I told him that I was bringing something like that, and he still, <laughs> he still fell for it. That was the snack for the episode. We didn't do any other like. Act, we didn't actually do a snack that episode. What could we have done after that? We were just all dead after that. <laughs> we were laughing so hard. Even Steve, who had had it done to him, was <laughs> laughing. Oh, God. I've never gotten that back, by the way. He, he told me he was taking that to work to trick somebody, and then he was going to give it back to me. He's never given me that thing back. He has stolen my delicious chips. Oh! God, the sheer terror in his voice. Oh, God. I don't even think you would have reacted as well as what he did. Yeah, his was the best. I probably would have just been frozen in fear. <laughs> Dude, there's somebody at work that I really want to get with that. Well, you'll have to talk him out of the... out of the delicious chips first. We may never see that again. That might have met an unfortunate end somewhere. He said he was... <sighs> Took it to work trying to get somebody else with it, and then he was walking through the shop in the morning, and it just like went off out of his bag or something. So he's just walking <laughs> through the shop, and it's like, you know, that sound that it made. <laughs> Can I just imagine that? He's like, oh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> there were snakes coming out there. That was not, that was like a huge ass fucking thing, too. Like, I've seen like smaller versions of that, but. That was as legit as... That was probably the best prank that I've ever played, or at least got the best reaction. I don't I don't know how it could ever be topped. I mean, we got Nana with something like that, but I don't even think Nana's reaction was as good as Steve. Yeah, Robin's wasn't really that funny. I mean, it was still funny, but I mean, it wasn't as funny as Steve's. Her face was kind of funny, huh? Like <laughs> the look she had. <clears throat> All right. What? Well, here's what happens if you pit and you're not too slow. <laughs> you just go blowing through there. I just wanted to show that off once because we were talking about it. Look at the red sky, man. The weather's about to be fucked up here or something. That'd be funny if all the times I've played this game, they like all of a sudden just put rain into it, and I had never seen it before. Like right now. I remember, have you ever played RC Pro-Am on the NES? Yeah, I love that game. That really, we'll, we'll have to bring that. I got that. If you don't, I'll bring that. But I should I, have the first one. The second one's super fucking expensive. Steve's got it, so I mean, we can play his. I, yeah, that's like 100, 100 bucks plus for that. But I was playing that, and I used to play that a ton. When That might be the best racing game on the NES. Speaking of, you know, we were talking about bad ones, but that one... That one's up there, but it started like, and I guess that in retrospect, the game was glitching, but like it looked like it was almost like nighttime. Like on uh, playing RC Pro Am, like the screen went dark and I could like barely see my car, and I thought that it was actually the game, like it meant to do that. And I was, you know, 12 years old, so, you know, excuse me for being young and stupid, but. I, I, like, thought that the game had meant to do that, so I was, like, just driving around in the dark, 
And then, like, all the other times I played the game, like, right after that, I was hoping that that would happen again. <laughs> How do you trigger that nighttime effect? <laughs> probably could, as old as my NES is, probably could do that every time now. It's <laughs> always... Got that NES in 1989. Changed my life. This it's game. It's so weird to think like of shit that like is like directed your life the way it did. You know what I mean? Like just think about it. It's true. When I was a kid, I had a Super Nintendo, had an N64, and a GameCube. Was that the first thing you got? Was the SNES? The first game <clears throat> console that I actually recall playing is Super Nintendo. Okay. But the first console that I had ever like went out and got, like not personally, the game that I actually remember, like the game console I remember purchasing was the, my, like my mom went out to buy it and I went with her to get it, was my N64. And it's that one right there. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we'll continue this conversation in the next episode because the game doesn't give us a lot to talk about, so we have to talk about our lives. And the first game, I, game console I ever bought was the GameCube, which is that one over there. Good stuff. All right, bye.